So here's the truth. You are peeking wrong in Counter-Strike 2. And today I'm going to show you something that nobody else is going to explain to you. None of these tutorial channels, none of these players outside of the pros in this game are really understanding this concept of when to peek, right? Because it's one thing to know how to peek. But if you don't know when you should be peeking and optimizing timings inside of this game, you're not going to be leveraging your talent, your skill, and your aim enough. So you are going to learn something very good today. We are going to hop right into it. Guys, so one thing that we are doing wrong, like I said earlier, is we're not peeking at the right time. A lot of us know how to peek, but we are just over peeking, we're over swinging, we're giving ourselves up too easily. And this is not gonna be a video necessarily about over peeking. Trust me, there's some much more complex things than that. This is a video of when, when do we peek? And in order to get into that, I first want you to think about, you know, if somebody is opping and long, right? Say we're upping and long here and we've been posted on this angle forever. Do we want to peek this guy and just walk into him, right? Do we just want to peek out and do that? Do we want to wide swing him? What do we want to do, right? At the end of the day, Juan guys don't walk peek. It doesn't really matter when we're peeking him or how we're peeking him necessarily. It matters when we're peeking him. The longer we make people sit and catch off these timings, the better it is. So this is the simplest way is, man, make this guy sit here forever. Make him wonder if you're there. And that's why you'll see great lurkers just sit inside a long house here, not even peek and wait for their team to exit cab. Because what's going on? All these nades are coming in, right? They're smoking that. They're uh, throwing a CT smoke. They're throwing 30 mollies, right? They're mauling ramp. They're flashing long. They're doing all these things. What does this player do? He starts to get antsy. He starts to get antsy and he's like, oh, he's looking at radar. He's listening to comms, under, listening to all these things, right? And what do you get to do as the long guy? Dude, then you take your timing, right? Then you peek with intention. And when you're peeking, I want you to visualize your opponent. Visualize someone corner. And if he's not there, okay, visualize someone pit. Boom, peek like this. You know, and hopefully we're not making noise. But if we do, then we're running out and getting that kill. Very bad players, even face level 10 players, are just peeking way too early and giving them a kill when they have zero pressure. So let's dive into this further, go into much more complex examples. But first, I have to give you a message about how to get literally the best Counter-Strike 2 skins for the cheapest price in the game. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, guys, so we can take this on the next level. Um, one scenario that I think is very useful to think about this is when people have you pinned down, right? Say you're playing on ramp and the T's are scaling out cat. They spot you, they shoot you, you shoot them. And you're kind of in the stalemate where you're sitting on ramp. They're trying to scale and do this. One mistake I see lower level players doing is they just keep trying to keep fighting and they keep fighting on the same exact angle, right? Well, wh what are you doing? That guy just saw you. His crosshair is in that position. And now when you pop up, he's going to shoot you. What you need to do, and if you want to get better at the game, one, if you have no support, no flashes for yourself, no utel, we're just doing this dry. Guys, utilize, you know, we're holding here. Oh, running up cat, they got past our crosshair. Don't just pop right back up. Instead, wait a second, right? And if you are going to pop up in the same spot, don't do it right away. Wait three seconds for them to scale. Okay, now we do it and then we swing, right? But the even better thing that you can do is, you know, we spot them first, boom. We're not popping back up in the same spot. We're waiting three seconds. They're get and then we're swinging them here. Why are we waiting? You know, it, it doesn't have to be three seconds. That's a long time. It can just be, you know, a range of time because guys, they start to get bored. Think about when you see somebody on ramp, you just understand this timing, right? Like CTs are rotating in here. There's players coming back from long that might have you till the support. You can't sit here forever and just hold this, right? It's on the T's to act and do something, right? So what are they going to do after you're not peeking? Ah, oh, dude, this guy's not peeking. Then they're going to scale. So depending on, and this is where game sense comes in. This is where just knowing your opponent's stuff comes in. When you think that they are going to start moving again, that's when you peek them hard and you visualize where they are. Boom, you know, maybe they were there or boom. You know, we just start shooting them like that. The worst thing you can do though is just pop up in the same spot every time. Um, it, it's just very, very bad guys, right? So you can mess with timings of players like that in, in a very good way. Um, another very productive thing that you can do is like if you do have a teammate that had cleaned up the long guy and can flash behind you, because obviously like this is the dream setup is to have a teammate that can flash behind and, you know, take care of people scaling, maybe 
you know, hopefully throws a little bit better of a flash closer to ramp that will actually blind these guys, right? We want good detail, but regardless, besides the point, um, you can leverage this utility to also disrupt the other team, right? So we took our initial contact, you know, flash for me, man, flash for me, right? That flash is coming in. And with that flash, we can again peek from a different angle and create so much confusion. They're running up cat, they eat that flash, right? And you might not even kill these guys. You, you might not, you might peek and not even kill them. But now we can get into a very dynamic uh, situation where, you know, we can maybe pick off people that are trying to get cover while blind and then come back here and do something for ourselves. Another thing you'll see pros doing, and this is, you know, pretty, pretty obvious, but like if they're on this ramp position, they have a flash themselves, they're going to use it and then peek at depending on what time they want with it, right? Are people scaling in? Is there one, two, three players? How many people are there? Is there smokes? You know, like what's going on, right? So you'll see pros do this all the time guys they'll throw their own flash and you know sometimes they might not even peek boom now we peek and we're peeking shallow other times if they want to be really aggressive they're going to flash and swing with it and try to catch off these players seeing that flash go in the air they see that flash and they turn but it's the when it's not necessarily how it's the when we're peeking i i, I cringe so bad when i see level 10s they're so good at the game right high level 10 players 25k elo players oh they're coming up cat and they're just doing this dude like like bro you know how easy that is to kill you like sure your aim is good and, and you know if you kill them you kill them but you're putting your head literally on a platter for them one of the best talents and tools and sorry we keep using this example right here but like this is so important one of the best talents you could do is oh they're running up cat drop a smoke even if you don't have a smoke guys just chill here just chill you you know if you have teammates long that can sit here and you know almost do a crossfire with you right like if he's here and you're playing on the ramp like this look at this guys when they're scaling, you can pop up and, and crossfire with them, right? Obviously, be careful if they go up there. Same thing with this guy. But peeking, peeking, peeking. We think that we have to peek every angle, right? Sometimes, especially as CTs, the best thing we can do is just wait. And like I mentioned at the very beginning of this, of this video, guys, is, you know, sometimes peeking late's the, the best play. They, I've gotten so many kills on a guy um, where he has me pinned down in this position, right? He has me pinned down in suicide. I'm mopping there. And, you know, maybe he's scouting or maybe he's opping, but he's posted on this guys the the worst thing you can do if you're that that player sitting up here is to just panic and be like oh no dude he's got me pinned what am i supposed to do oh there's nowhere for me to go and try to jump across guys like, like stop the panic like think about the situation for a second you are here he is holding you from doors he can't hold you the whole round why because if he sits here the longer he sits there and holds you the more chances your teammates can scale up mid on him people from lower can come out here and, and he just is in a very vulnerable spot, right? So that's why I get frustrated when I'm playing a good player that's suicide. And I'm like, dude, like, ah, oh, bro, like, like, I know you're there, but I'm going to have to give this angle in a bit, right? And then we just have to adjust and play somewhere else. So I always do that. So if I'm, if I'm suicide here, I'll just chill and wait. And I might peak literally like 12 seconds after I'm here. And, you know, if I'm really scared that he's holding me, I'll throw in a little jump spot. And, and also you might be like, well, dude, you could get shot with. I'm telling you, if someone's holding an angle for literally like 13 seconds right here, dude, they, they're, they're looking at their radar. They're thinking of other things. You are probably not going to die if you, if you jump spot, right? And you might, you, you never know, but it's just very valuable. People again and again and again tell you how to peek, but they don't tell you when to peek. Really utilize those timings. Be a pain for the other team to deal with, right? If I'm opping here and the the team is splitting, the, the, I hate, bro. I hate when the player just won't come out because then I'm like, ah, oh, dude, like I I need to hold long, but they're also splitting a site. Like, oh, bro, like come on, just peek me. And then I have to give up and like come out here and try to battle both sides, right? Stop selling yourself short. You are a good player, but you're just you're throwing. Like you're literally throwing. Same thing if you're a CT and pit here. You know if they're coming out long on you and you have teammates on ramp. Dude, why, why why are you fighting past the first player, right? Why are you fighting fast per, fast the uh, past the first player? Boa, word jumble there. You flash for yourself. Have a teammate flash for you. Maybe you don't even peek with it. Your teammate flashes and you just chill here still. And then after a while, when they start thinking about like, oh, is there a guy corner? Is there something then? Then you peek up and, and visualize, right? There's no right way to do it. There's no wrong way to do it, but stop selling yourself short. Sell yourself as fully as you can and be the most annoying player possible. Guys, if you want to help me out so much, you watch to the end of this video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are, please leave a comment down below. Support the channel. Share this video with your friends. I want to help everyone get better, and I want you to be along the journey with me to the top. So appreciate every single one of you. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.